Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alerts. Today we're talking about the 2006 film, X-Men, The Last Stand. This was the third X-Men film to come out from Fox. However, many films came after, some that were prequels and some that offer a somewhat altered timeline. Depending on how you look at it, timeline-wise, this film was set at one of the latest time points. The film does rely in part that you've seen the previous films. If you'd like to see a summary, please check out the links below, as well as the summaries that I have for the other Marvel films. The film opens 20 years earlier, with Professor Xavier and Magneto meeting with a young Jean Grey at her parents' house, discovering that she has extraordinary powers, even for a mutant. We then see, 10 years later, at the apartment of an industrialist leader named Worthington, whose young son is trying to cut off his mutant wings. The film then transitions to present day, where Worthington's company has developed a vaccine that will suppress the X gene that gives mutants their abilities, offering a cure of sorts to mutants who want it. The cure is created from a young mutant named Jimmy, who can suppress mutant abilities. Jimmy lives at the Worthington facility that is on Alcatraz Island. Some mutants are very interested in the cure, such as Rogue, who is completely incapable of human contact due to her powers. Other mutants, however, are horrified by the idea that they are curing mutation, and Magneto is especially upset by this. Magneto establishes the Brotherhood of Mutants to fight against the cure, as he believes that the cure will soon be given forcibly to all mutants. Magneto and his Brotherhood attack a mobile prison to help Mystique escape as well as two other mutants, Juggernaut, who is an unstoppable man, and Multiple Man, who can make many copies of himself. The prison guards carry special guns armed with the mutant cure and fire around at Magneto, but Mystique takes the bullet instead, turning herself into a human without powers. Magneto abandons Mystique, as she is only a human now, which upsets Mystique. Cyclops, upset over Jean's death, travels to the lake from the second film where she died. Jean suddenly appears to Cyclops, but as they kiss, Jean disintegrates Cyclops. Professor Xavier senses that something is wrong and sends Wolverine and Storm to investigate. However, the lake is now experiencing some extremely odd properties, such as objects randomly floating around, along with Cyclops' glasses, and an unconscious Jean. Back at the mansion, Xavier explains that when Jean sacrificed herself during the events of the second film, she released an alternate personality, Phoenix, a powerful animalistic personality that Xavier had suppressed, fearing Phoenix's destructive potential. Wolverine is initially disgusted when he hears what Xavier did to Jean at such a young age, but when Jean wakes up, it becomes clear that she is no longer the same Jean and that she had killed Cyclops. Phoenix knocks out Wolverine and escapes to her childhood home. Magneto learns of the Phoenix's resurrection, and Magneto and his brotherhood, along with Xavier and the X-Men, arrive at the same time to Jean's home. Both groups try to get Jean's loyalty, until the Phoenix personality resurfaces. Phoenix destroys the house, disintegrates and kills Xavier and leaves with Magneto and the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood attack Worthington Labs to destroy those who make the cure and the mutant that the cure is made from. At the same time, Mystique flipped on Magneto and provided information to the government, which they used to attack the Brotherhood camp. However, when they arrive, it is only just filled with copies of the Multiple Man. Magneto uses his magnetic powers to move the Golden Gate Bridge to connect to Alcatraz where the labs are located. The Brotherhood attack the island, and the remaining X-Men try to help the military in fighting the Brotherhood. Kitty, an X-Men who can move through walls, is able to save the mutant Jimmy before Juggernaut can kill him. Wolverine is thrown at Magneto to distract him long enough for another mutant named Beast to inject Magneto with the cure, stripping Magneto of all of his powers. Wolverine tries to calm down Jean slash Phoenix, The army shoots at Jean, awakening the Phoenix, and she disintegrates the troops and begins to destroy Alcatraz and nearly everyone around her. Wolverine pleads with her, only able to survive due to his healing abilities. Jean begs Wolverine to kill her as she knows she is losing control to Phoenix. Wolverine fatally stabs Jean, destroying Phoenix, and mourns Jean's death. As the film concludes, we see mutants have more legally established rights, and the Xavier School is still operating, with Storm as the new headmistress. 
the President of the United States appoints Beast to be an ambassador for the United Nations. Rogue gets the cure, and her boyfriend Bobby is upset with her decision. Before the rolling of the credits, we see Magneto sitting at a chessboard, similar to the ending of the first film. He gestures towards a metal chess piece, and it twitches slightly, suggesting his powers are coming back. In a post credit scene, we see Dr. McTaggart, who was briefly mentioned earlier in the film, in the context of placing one person's mind inside the body of another. A patient who is in comatose greets the doctor, with the voice of Xavier, implying Xavier somehow transferred his consciousness and is not truly dead. So that was the spoilers for X-Men The Last Stand. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out movie spoiler alerts on our various forms of social media listed below, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.